Hey there, folks. Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. Oh, yeah. We got some mail. Santee, do one on saddles. Patrick Chapel. Okay, Patrick. I got your nine messages, and that's something we can do. Yep. Some version of the saddle has been around since about 4000 BC. Hey, Rex. Now, there's no way I can cover every saddle used in the Old West in this video, but I can give you an overview of the Western style that was prevalent on the frontier from the 1860s until the turn of the century. A saddle is basically a leather seat secured to a tree that sits on the back of the horse, generally over a blanket. It was a cherished item to the horsemen and typically something that they would carry from job to job. Western saddles were developed by the vaqueros and have a wider and longer panel than the English saddle and disperses more of the rider's weight over the back of the horse. These early saddles had a huge influence on what we use today. Vaqueros, in their free time, started decorating their saddles, which brought a whole new level of pride to the cowboy's tools. Now you saw personalization, kind of like adding flames to your car. You're not serious, are you? The parts of the saddle are many, and I'm not going to go into all of them in this video. However. Here's a couple of important developments in the Western working man's saddle. The horn was used for tying off a rope and the sizes varied through the regions. This was found on the fork of the saddle. Okay, are we really gonna do this this time? I mean, come on. <laughs> Tapaderos sometimes covered the stirrups to keep your foot from sliding through and added extra protection for the horse. In the 1860s, the popular Mochila saddle was morphed into the Mother Hubbard saddle and used by many Texas ranchers. It had a big leather skirt around the whole shebang. By the 1870s, fenders appeared between the stirrup and the saddle, and that big skirt was minimized. In the 1880s, steel horns came into play. Prior to this, they were made of wood and had the tendency to break. Also, loop seats appear, allowing for easy cleaning and replacement of stirrup leathers. Saddle technology by the 1890s consisted of swells put on the fork of the saddle to keep the rider's pelvis from hard contact with the fork. The western saddle was usually rigged with rings or leather straps for adding in necessary items like rifles, bedrolls, canteens, or saddlebags. These folks would spend long days in the saddle, and accessibility was everything. If there was more to carry, then the pack saddle came into play and was designated for an additional horse or mule. The military developed the McClellan saddle in 1850, which was made mainly for eastern style riding and saw use until about 1954. These saddles did make it out to the west with the cavalry, and they had an exposed slot down the center to go over the horse's backbone. It was frowned upon for women to wear trousers in the 19th century, therefore the side saddle was developed so that women could ride horses in their Victorian dresses. Can I just wear pants, please? There has been a resurgence of the Old West style saddles over the years, not just for the film industry, but for cowboys and living historians who like to embrace the history of their ancestors. Well, folks, I hope you got a little something out of the episode. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on down the trail. Well, folks, hope you got a little out of the episode, and as always...